Hey everyone, Kathy here. And today we're not doing soap. We're gonna make a few candles. I had the little candle making urge come over me. I uh, used to make candles years ago, as well as uh, wax dip bears and such for the holidays. Um, but I thought I'd do uh, some candles up to kind of make them um, match some of the fragrances I use in my soaps. So I wanted to show you first what I bought. And uh, I bought most, all of this on Amazon, not most of it, but all of it, um, because it was really good price. Everything here I got for about $30. Um, so I'll show you what I got here was a five pounds of soy wax. I got this kit, which was um, all together and it's going to make way more candles than what I needed, but I got the little warning labels. I got the wick stickers. And I have three different sizes of candle wicks uh, with the tabs attached. Uh, they have a really long one, which I'm not using today. The ones I'm using today are the shorter one and the medium size. And then it came with one of the, the wick centering tools. But who pours just one candle? So <laughs> I'm not using that. Um, so that's what that set came with. And then I bought a set of 12 of the little tins to put to pour your candles in. And then I bought this cute set of six tins. They're really pretty. They have three different designs. This, this, and this beautiful blue one with flowers. So today I am uh, doing candles in one each of these two jars. And uh, when you open the lid, doo -doo -doo, comes with an inner lid as well. So they'll make nice fancy candles. But like I said, I got all of this stuff on Amazon for about $30. Um, so in order to get started, you have to put your wick in. So you take one of your little wick tabs and your wick and center it like so on the sticky side, right? And then you're gonna peel off the paper on the other side, which is easy if you have fingernails. I don't, but anyway. So now you've got a sticky side here and you wanna take your container and slowly position this so it's pretty much right in the center because you don't want to get it on there and discover you can't take it off. These suckers are really sticky. So now we've got our wick in and I'm using some little kind of skewer sticks uh, to roll my wick. I'm just taking the tip and rolling it around. It's easier to do on the table or with both hands. Anyway, just roll around and around like so until your stick is resting on the lip of your container. So that holds your wick nice and straight. So I've already done, I've done two of the larger ones and I've done four of the smaller ones. We'll see how far my wax goes. I've measured out about a pound and a half of wax and I am using uh, one ounce of fragrance oil per pound of wax. So what I did was I did a blend using two of the Voyager fragrances. I'm using about an ounce of Tahitian vanilla and half ounce of fresh squeezed orange. And it smells wonderful. And I'm hoping my candles will as well. So I'm gonna go check my wax. We'll move the camera over by the stove and uh, we'll start with the next part of our project. Okay, we're over at the stove and our wax is melting in a uh, metal pitcher. This one I have had for years. This is what I always melted my wax in and I've got it in a water bath and uh, we're slowly melting it down. There's still a few good sized chunks in there. Uh, one thing I had to search high and low for was my thermometer. So we're gonna melt this and we're gonna keep reading the temperature till it's around 170 to 180 degrees, no higher. And uh, 
At that point, we're gonna remove it from the heat and add our fragrance oil. And then we're gonna let it cool until it's about 130 to 140 degrees before we pour. Now, once it's melted, you could add also coloring to your wax or to your yeah soy wax. Uh, they do sell these little dye chips for candle making. So those are really fun to use. I didn't buy any this time. I wanted to keep it a basic white candle. Um, especially for these, I figure I'm letting the jars be the pretty part. And I could see if you're using uh, clear glass containers to uh, show them off with a beautiful colored candle inside. But mine are not glass so I'm not using any color. Also saves on the cost. I was looking at dye chips, um, but they sold like these mega sets. I couldn't find any where it was just like a few little pieces of one color. So that was another thing. I wanted to reduce my cost on these. So I, well, I have a ton of wax chips sitting around that I'll never use, so, or that it will take me forever to use. So anyway, we're, we're getting there. These are almost, melted. Uh, let me do a quick reading on my temperature here. Oops, so you'll see it says 71 here. Oh, there goes my phone. Must be for my husband. And we're in the low, getting to the mid 150s right now so we're we're not quite melted yet i'm gonna wipe my thermometer off um, always make sure you wipe your your thermometer off every time it's easier to clean the wax off when it's still liquid than after it hardens so another good tip there and just like when we're done pouring i will clean my spatula and my melting pot with paper towels right away. So just to get that wax out of there. Almost done here. And the wax is almost melted. I'm gonna do another reading. Oops. Nearing 160. We don't have too much further to go. We're at 159, 160. So it'll be just about another minute or so. And then we can add our fragrance and remove it from the heat and let it cool down. Stirring as we go, just keep things moving. I think we'll be about ready to take this off the heat. Two, three. I'm going to stop at 170. So we're just 64, 5, 6. I'm going to turn my heat off on my burner. Sixty-seven. Eight, 170. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off the burner and take my pot out of the water. We'll wipe the bottom off here so it's not wet, like so. So there you can see all of our wax is melted. I'm gonna move to the other side here and move you over with me. And I'm gonna pour in my ounce and a half of beautiful Tahitian vanilla and orange fragrance oils. It smells wonderful. So we're gonna pour that in slowly, stirring as we go.
got all that in there. My kitchen's gonna smell divine. Wipe that out. And we'll keep stirring. And taking our temperature until we get to 130 to 140 and then we'll come back and we'll pour. All right, I just took my uh, reading and we're about at 138. Um, we're still nice and fluid, but we've cooled down enough to where I think we can pour now. I'm gonna remove my spatula just so I don't wanna make a mess here. So just kinda kinda wipe that off there. And we'll get to pouring our candles. Now, these uh, bigger ones, they have a little lip. You see that lip on the inside? I'm just gonna pour to just below that lip. And then on these ones, I'll pour maybe half an inch below the lip on these, um, just to make them a little smaller. I'm not quite sure how far my wax is going to go. We'll find out and then I'll know for when I make them again. So I'm gonna pour very slowly into the big ones first. Right down, nice and slow, till you get it right to where you want it. And right below the lip there. So I'm gonna come do the other one. Nice and easy. Again, we're right below that lip. And now for our little ones, right, it's like so. And I think I'll need my other little jars. Oops. So I did, I did do four of these little ones. So we'll see how I did guessing how many I'd need. <laughs> I might need another one. Whoa, that one went a little too high. Um, I think I'm going to do another big one. So, I'm just going to grab quickly my wick stickers and this. I'm not going to do the warning label on the bottom quite yet. But I think I have enough to do this other big candle. Again, these little sticky tabs come off so much easier if you have fingernails. Okay, so again, we're going to position him right in the center, pressing down. So he's right in the center, and I'm going to wind my wick like so, just all the way around my little stick, like so. And we'll pour the rest. Into this container, which is almost but not quite enough. Would have been more of uh, more than what I would have needed in a smaller jar though. So this candle I'll make mine since it's not quite filled up to the top. And there we've got our candles poured. And while while you can, you can tighten back up your wicks if they've slipped down a little, because they will. And just make sure they're still positioned in the center of your candle. 
And now we're gonna just wait and let these cool completely. And once they've cooled completely and they're white, then we will take our sticks off and we'll trim our wicks. So for now, I'm just gonna go wipe out my, my uh, melting pot and wipe off my spatula. Uh, and then I can get those washed up. So we'll come back once these have cooled off and uh, continue on with the rest of the process. All right, our candles have cooled off and we can remove our sticks now just very gently um, because they have not cured for 24 hours. You just want to be really careful. You don't want to burn your candles until they've sat for a full 24 hours just to fully let them set up. So now we're gonna just really carefully come down to about a quarter inch above the wax and trim our wicks. You don't wanna leave your wick too long. Your flame will be too high and it won't burn correctly. So here's the, here's the little candle of mine, uh, the one that didn't have much wax in it. But uh, isn't that pretty? Just a really lovely candle, and you can use this to snuff out your candle This on this particular jar. And then on goes the lid. It's just beautiful. Isn't that pretty candle? And then you've got your little warning labels on the bottom. Make sure if you are selling these, you do include those labels. So put the lid. I just love this blue one. It's going to be a gift for somebody, so there we go. Look at that beautiful lid. Like I said, I got these on Amazon. So if you just search uh, in like tin containers, um, tin containers with lids, you'll find them. Oh, oh, and I made a mistake on the pricing of all of this stuff that I bought. It wasn't $30. It was like $58. So if you thought, wow, that's really cheap, you were right because it was wrong. So it came to about $58, which is still a really good deal for, for the amount of wax. I got five pounds and then tons of wicks and stickers, and I mean, it just came to a really good deal. So we're going to do these little ones now. Trimming those nice and short. Not too short. Like I said, about a quarter of an inch. Don't cut yourself. So there's our little candles and we'll go ahead and put the, oh, and I'm telling you this, the smell of this Tahitian vanilla blended with the orange, really, really nice. You get, just get a hint of that orange fragrance with the vanilla. You know, it kind of reminds me of a, um, oh, what are they called? Those little orange and chocolate uh, candies. Anyway. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It's not a chocolate note, it's the vanilla. Anyway, screw these lids back on. And there we go. Now you've got some great candles to use for yourself or give as gifts. We'll wait, like I said, 24 hours before I burn mine. But uh, what a great gift to give somebody and very inexpensive to make. So there you go, our soy wax candles for our crafting video. And uh, aren't they just lovely containers? I really like these. Even these are so cute. So thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, catch me with our next video. Uh, we'll, we might be doing a soap fail, actually. <laughs> uh, I may have to cook some soap in the crock pot. So <laughs> anyway. Uh, we'll catch you on whatever my next video will be. If you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe and ring the bell and you'll be notified of our next video. So uh, until then, thanks again for watching and we'll see you all later. Have a good day. Bye for now.